There are two really practical ways that we can empower the next generation of uh, followers of Jesus, the next generation of leaders. And one is by entrusting them to do the things uh, that Jesus models for us. And the other is empowering them to um, grow in their leadership. So first, let me speak about entrusting others. So um, as you read uh, Luke chapter 9, um, verse, the first verses of Luke chapter 9, we see Jesus preparing to send out the 12. And it said that he gave them authority and power. And he also gave them a very specific task, role, job that they were going to have, which was that they were going to go and proclaim the gospel and they were going to heal those that they met. So they had two very clear um, tasks that they were hoping would have a specific outcome. And then they also had the power and authority given to them by Jesus to be able to do that. And I think that that's a beautiful way of really how we can entrust practically the next generation is that we say, we remind them that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to them and that they can stand confident in their calling of what God's asking them to do. Oftentimes the younger generation is either too afraid or not afraid enough. They don't have that holy fear, but or they might have too much human fear. And so we want to really give them the confidence in Christ, in the Holy Spirit's power that's at work in them. So giving them that confidence, but also being clear about what is it that we're sending them to do. They, they appreciate clear-cut instruction of this is what this is supposed to look like. They love when we model it too. But there comes a point in entrusting and empowering is that we as the older leaders, we as the older generations, we have to say, I'm handing you the keys to the kingdom, just like Jesus did with Peter. I heard it said once from a study that it's like giving young people car keys after they get their driver's license, where that is really um, a move or an indicator from like a father to a son, from a mother to a daughter of saying, okay, daughter, you have your driver's license. I'm giving you the keys and I'm giving you the authority, the power and the trust that you can take the family car and start to use it on your own. You've, you've grown into that position. And so I think that for us as older leaders, sometimes we think that we've handed over the authority. We think that we've entrusted and empowered, but sometimes we're still holding back the responsibilities. We kind of want, we're not quite sure if they can do it. We're a little scared. What if they get in a car accident, right? If we use the illustration of the car keys. But that's exactly what Jesus did. So as we look to the master, we knew that he was putting the 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 he was putting the responsibility onto the hands of young leaders who had everything that they needed, but they were growing in experience. They lacked faith. Jesus told them that. They made mistakes. But that Jesus, that was the way he wanted to pass along the kingdom. And we know they were never alone. They always had the Holy Spirit guiding them and opening the doors to do things that they couldn't do uh, on their own. And Jesus even said, you will do greater things with, without me than you will with me because you have the Holy Spirit's power. So praise God that we can empower and equip the young generation, but there does come a time where we don't have to be afraid. It's in God's hands. And so we can really hand over those keys.